Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am planning for the month of October. Can't believe October is here, but this is officially one of my favorite months of the year. Fall is my favorite season and Halloween is my favorite holiday. So with that being said, you know that I was going to use a Halloween um, monthly kit from Planner Kate, of course. So this is kit 172F and G. So it's both monthly sheets that I have. And then I also picked up some of the thin washi, the longer sidebar for the new planners. And then I got some extra event labels and some extra appointment labels. And then I got some of the icons. I didn't use the icons a whole lot last month, but I kind of like having them just to add a little extra something. Um, just to kind of show you guys how September turned out, this is what my month looked like. It was pretty busy, uh, but I loved the way that the kit looked, and it looked very, it was very easy to turn to and see what I have going on, and I just really, I really loved this week, or this month. So, October is a fresh start, and I am so, so ready to jump in to this October kit. It's just... Mm. I've already made my Halloween and fall playlists and I've been listening to them getting ready for the new season. Um, I plan on decorating at the end of this weekend um, for all of our Halloween stuff just because I like to have my Halloween decorations up for as long as possible because it is my favorite holiday. So I'm just going to lay these down and um, probably just speed through this part so I can get my whole layout set up and then we'll go from there. All right, so I have everything sort of laid down. Um, there was kind of some alignment issues. The stickers don't fit perfectly in the new life planner, but it's fine. It's no big deal. It I eventually got all of it to kind of sit down the way I wanted to. Um, let's see. I did want to... I think I'm going to add this thin washi down here at the bottom, actually. So I have lots of it, so I might as well use everything that I have. See, now I don't like this white space here, <laughs> so I'm going to move the sticker down. It's a lot of moving around and trying to get all the stickers to fit the way that you want them to. Oh no, I have the sticker tearing. Okay. That's not good. Okay. Lots of layering happening. Okay. I kind of messed up the sticker a little bit, but... We're just gonna go with it. Again, the formatting just isn't 100% correct with the new planners, but Kate will get them all fixed up whenever she releases new kits in January. So for now, you just kinda have to work with what you have and the way the stickers are formatted because they are meant for the older planners. Okay, I think that that's good. 
I don't know, I just kind of like having the washi down at the bottom because I feel like it kind of completes it. But, okay, we've got all of that in. My layout is all set up. Also, sorry if I sound a little stuffy and you hear me um, sniffling. I just, I'm, I suddenly got a cold or some sort of something and I'm sick and I had a sore throat and now my voice is really deep, my nose is runny and all that fun stuff. So nothing like bringing in the fall time, like having a nice cold. <laughs> Okay, so I have my little sticky note here of everything that's going on for this month. So I think I'm just going to start with kind of the things that I have weekly. So that would be um, children's community choir rehearsals and a seminar class. So I think I'm just going to kind of pick a color to go with each. Um, let's see what I've got here. I think I'll do seminar class in yellow and children's community choir in orange. Yeah, I think that's the route I'll go. So let me write those in real quick. <clears throat> So seminar classes are every Tuesday, and we're actually skipping one Tuesday this month. So actually, I didn't write enough of these. I need to have four of them. But make sure I'll get all of these down. But for those of you who don't know, um, I am a student teacher, so this seminar class is our class that we meet in once a week um, to do some kind of extra work and reflections and discussion and all of that. So um, We are skipping the 15th because my college has fall break during that time, which I'll also put in here. But... Those are down, so now let me put down the children's community choir rehearsals. And I said I would do those in orange. So I will need one, two, three, four, five of those. Because I think we are still meeting on Halloween, if I'm correct on that. Yeah, okay. Okay, that is a lot of these orange stickers. This is why I picked up a couple extra sheets because I knew that I have a lot to keep track of this month. And I want to make sure that I get everything in. So those are Thursday evenings. I'm just going to stick them towards the bottom. Okay, then there is one extra rehearsal. That's the one on the 10th that goes a little later. She's, we're rehearsing with, um, some of the young singers that are actually going to join the adult choir in doing Carmina Burana, um, which is a really heavy piece for those of you who don't know much about music. Um, that's a large oratorio. Uh, it's, pr it's simpler than some, um, simple enough that you could have children learn some of the parts. So that's what they're doing. And they're having the kiddos join in with the adults and some of the movements. So 
we're gonna have an extra rehearsal from 6.30 to 7.30 on the 10th. So let me add an extra orange one in there. I feel like I have to write so tiny on these smaller ones. Okay, so let's move this one up so that I can fit it underneath. Put this one down on the 10. So that just means that that's basically going to be an extended rehearsal, but I wanted to put it on two separate labels so that way I like pay more attention to the fact that we're staying later. If it was on one, I'd probably just ignore the time on it and forget. So I want to make sure that I'm prepared for that. Let me make sure this is lined up a little better. It's going to drive me crazy. Okay, so we have seminar class and we have children's community choir rehearsals in. So those are the important um, weekly events I have going. Then um, my university has fall break from the 12th through the 15th. And let me double check on that. I just wanna be sure that that's correct. Yeah, so it's 12th through 15th. I just think it's interesting that they put 12th through 15th because that's a Saturday, so we don't have classes. <laughs> so I don't know why they did it that way, but let's use, hmm, I kind of want to use this washi here. So we'll start it here. Let me find my little thing. So we said 12th through the 15th. Ooh, that fit perfectly. Okay. And we'll write that on a bigger label. I didn't get the decorative boxes for this one. I just got the plain ones just because I felt like I didn't want too much decoration. So I'm kind of glad I did that, but <clears throat> let's see. I'll write that on, I don't know if I want to put it on a bigger box. I don't think I'm going to, I think I'm just going to write it on a small one and we'll write it in this black here. And one of these Saturdays, we'll probably plan to go to the pumpkin patch. I really want to plan ahead for that this year just because last year we went closer towards Halloween and it was way busier and I kind of want to go earlier in the month. So I'm not going to put that in yet today, but I'm just kind of telling myself when I go back and edit this, remember Taylor to figure out a time that you guys can go to the pumpkin patch because I'm going to have to talk to Chris and Jane and see what our schedules look like and everything. But Okay, we have fall break in. I'm gonna kind of cross these off on my little list over here as I go. Um, fall break. And then I need to make sure that I write down no seminar there just so that I remember. I'll just put no school. I know that's not the same as seminar, but You know what, actually, I'm not even going to mark it because I'll probably, I don't know, it's confusing. Class, when I, when I say class, I think of seminar. When I say school, I think of student teaching. <laughs> so I just don't want to put that in and confuse myself. <clears throat> Since I don't have a sticker there, I'll just know that's fall break and I don't have class. So we'll mark that off. Okay, before I forget, I also need to add on that the 5th, we have a fall retreat for WCCC. So I wanna make sure I get that put in here. 
And I think I'm just gonna do it on a smaller label still. We did that in orange. I'll put it on a bigger event label. So actually, yeah. So, W, C, C, C. Fall retreat, that's. That's from 9.30 to two. So it'll be kind of a morning thing. Let's cross that off. <laughs> Then, the 18th, there is no school for one of the districts I'm teaching in. For those of you who don't know, I'm student teaching in two different districts. Music ed majors have to student teach in an elementary placement and a secondary placement. So, both of my school placements are in separate districts. So, I kind of have to keep track of no school days. So, we can definitely use one of these no school stickers. And I will put that on... Let's put it on a black one. And next to it, I'm going to put the district number. Because what will probably happen is I'll just spend the whole day at the other school instead. Which will be kind of fun because I teach um, afternoon classes at the elementary school. And so we've been talking about how if there's a day that I'm not at my other school in the morning, coming in and seeing her morning classes. Um, her afternoon classes are kindergarten, first and third, and her morning classes are second, fourth, and fifth. So it'll be fun to see some of the grade levels that I'm not teaching. Okay, so we put no school in. Let's cross that off. Okay, on the 21st, that's a Monday, yes. The 21st, my KPTP is due, which is basically my giant student teaching portfolio that I have to submit to the state and some random educator grades it. Um, and they're actually getting rid of it next year, so I've been kind of bitter that I've had to do something that they don't really find value in anymore, which is part of the reason they're getting rid of it. So it's like, why don't you just get rid of it now and keep me from having to do it? But that's just how it works, right? So, but I want to put in my due date for that. That's a pretty big deal. Um, I think I'm going to use... Actually, I do have due stickers. So maybe I'll use some of those. Oh, these. Do I want to use those? They don't really match my kit. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to use all of these stickers that I do have just to use them up. So I'm going to also put this on a black one. So this is KPTP Do. And that is on the 21st. And I'm probably going to put a little <laughs> sticker on that. Let's put exclamation point just because it's a big deal and I want to make sure I get it turned into turned in on time. <coughs> the hope is to actually get it turned in early. That would be really nice. And then a week later we have um, a certain appendix of the KPTP that's due, and it's kind of a reflection thing that we do afterwards. So I'm going to write that in there as well. Um, I'm going to have to use one of these. Appendix C is due as well. We're just going to put another exclamation point. So I'm very aware that those are happening. Okay, let's cross those off. Okay. 
The 28th, we also have an interview exchange day. I don't know a whole lot about it. I need to figure out what exactly is going on with all of that. But I'll put that underneath. Let me check the time on it because I didn't write that down. Um, three to five. Okay, so we'll just put it on this larger one. Exchange. Interview day. It actually has a much longer name, but you can only write so much on these stickers. So I'm just going to... write it down that way. Okay, so interview day is written down. We can also cross that off. And we have seminars down, we can cross the, that off. Okay, so I think as far as school and all of my stuff going on, that that is everything. I don't have anything as far as my personal life goes, planned, no traveling. Nothing like that, but I know we are going to have lots of fall festivities that we want to be a part of. I was actually just kind of glancing through some of our local events that are going on and trying to plan ahead and figure out what we want to go to, but I'm going to wait to add them in. Um, in the month of September, I added in quite a few local events that were happening, um, not knowing whether or not I was going to actually attend any of them, but for this month, I really want to just put in what I want to for sure go to and then make sure that that happens. So I still have a little bit more planning on that end of things that I'm hoping to get done this weekend. I have a long car ride to Texas today. Um, I'll have some downtime in a hotel room and then I'll be coming back on Sunday. And so during those car rides, I'm hoping to kind of get some more things planned out and also get some schoolwork done because Lord knows that never ends. So. I just wanted to check real quick before I wrap this up. I wanted to look through my sticker books and just see if I had any Halloween decorative stickers because this is my favorite holiday and I kind of want to get a little decorative. I want to put like a big Halloween sticker on here. I feel like... Ooh. There's so many cute ones. Um, that's so funny. Stressed is just desserts spelled backwards. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Um, what do I want to use? I kind of want to use the black one with metallic colors. And then I probably want to like layer it. Let's move this sticker down all the way to the bottom and just cover up that holiday Halloween label. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. And then we'll kind of do some layering. Oh, I could. Oh, I kind of want to layer it on one of these. Because these match really well, actually. The cover up my 31st sticker. Kind of, yeah, I kind of like that, except it's just not straight. How does that look? Let's zoom in a little bit. Is that cute? I can't tell. I don't... There's just so many good stickers in here and I want to use them all. Maybe I'll actually move this down more and actually center it. I really should not peel up Erin Condren stickers because Lord knows they're probably not going to stick very well again, but
There, we'll kind of center it more because I think that'll look better. There we go. That's actually really cute. Oh, I love it. And then I kind of just wanted to see, I feel like this one goes more with the spooky vibe. I kind of wanted to just add a few, I don't know, maybe I'll just wait. I'll wait to get a little bit more decorative and once I add some a few more things into my spread because I just don't want to cover it up too much and not really have the room to decorate. But you guys already know too, I got very festive kits for October. If you watched my latest Planner Kate haul, most of them are very fall or very Halloween. I think I got both of the Halloween kits that Planner Kate offered this year because, again, I just love them. So... Anyways, that should be all for this plan with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. I'd be so glad to have you join my community here on YouTube. And I think I'm going to wrap it up here. So thank you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.